All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to be taking a look at LR Super Baby 2. I do think this was a badly needed uh, LR for this unit. Either LR or Dokkan Fest uh, both work very well, although I still think Baby definitely deserves a Dokkan Fest event as well at some point. Now, uh, we're using Baby right now on the Transformation Boost or Enhanced Transformation team. Uh, the reason is that is going to be his best team uh, in terms of leader skill. So he does have his new category, right? The Artificial Life Forms category. But as of this moment, uh, it, it's only a 130% leader skill from Super Baby himself, right? So this team is definitely where Baby will be able to get the highest attack stat. Also, this team does have Physical Kid Boo on it, so that'll work really well for Baby. Now, I think... In a best case scenario, uh, Baby is a unit that's going to strongly benefit from his TUR, like big time. Uh, so in the future, you know, it, you know, obviously, you know, you have to pull a lot of vers a lot of babies in order to get that to happen. But having the TUR Baby around will also be very, very helpful. Now I'm linking him up with LR First Form Frieza here because that's basically activating Baby's important attack links. So Baby only has three attack links. Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, and Legendary Power. Uh, LR Freeze is getting all of those. Baby also has, you know, key links like Shattering the Limit, Hatred of Saiyans, and GT. And then he also has a healing link in Metamorphosis, which LR Freeze also actually does have. So, you know, that is going to be pretty helpful. So, let's go ahead and get to rocking here with uh, Super Baby 2. Now, it, it should be... Here's the thing. Uh, he does have a Great Ape Transformation. Uh, but it works a little differently from other great apes in that baby actually has a sort of restriction. Uh, he has to be below 50% HP. 2.1. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Like, just right away, 2.1 uh, without, you know, uh, support type passive or anything active and not even getting his 18 key super. Uh, I'm going to take that. That's <laughs> that's what summonable L that's summonable LR power right there. Now, again, we, you know, we have uh, Kid Buu. I also brought the AGL Cooler, uh, who I think could be a pretty interesting uh, option here uh, to run alongside that baby. Of course, you know, he gives uh, a 40% attack buff, uh, just like, you know, Turles. Well, you know, Coolers is only for AGL units, but, you know, it, it's just like uh, Turles' buff or, you know, bra 40% is substantial and it is good enough to make things. Ooh, 2.1 from Super Buu. I like that. Uh, Super Boo, you know, if he's linked up with Physical Kid Boo, can do some pretty good things. You know, that that's not a bad number that we're seeing right there from him. So, Super Baby 2, right? Uh, I, we're going to take a look at his Great Ape transformation in this video. But, you know, it, boy, oh boy, this is probably not going to happen that often. Because, again, uh, you have to be below 50% HP. And then at that point, it's still only even a high chance that it'll happen. Uh, so, you know, you'll see it occasionally. Now, based off of what I've seen, I, I think uh, Baby's Great 8 version is going to be, like, thoroughly disgusting. So, I, I, I would like people to keep that in mind. I think it's going to be uh, just absolutely ludicrous. Um, okay, so... Oh, yeah. All right, here's the thing. Okay, so when we were fighting uh, Vegeta, uh, Vegeta was a pure Saiyan. So, Baby's passive works like th works like this. He gets three key and 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. Not bad. Then he gets an additional three key and 50% attack when he's fighting a pure Saiyan enemy. And he also can get another additional three key and 50% attack when there's a hybrid Saiyan enemy. Most of the time, you're going to be fighting one of the two. But right here, uh, this time, you know, we're fighting Gogeta, uh, who, of course, is not a pure Saiyan or a hybrid Saiyan unit. Uh, even though, I mean, really, let's be real, Gogeta probably should be a, you know, pure Saiyan unit, but, you know, <laughs> it, it is what it is. <laughs> that's, that's a discussion we've all had a lot. So, Baby won't be able to hit quite as hard uh, going up against Gogeta. Oh, is Gogeta about the super here? Okay, this will be pretty good. So, how much damage uh, will Baby take here from Gogeta? Uh, I'm expecting a pretty good defense here. Uh, but although if it does a lot of damage, we could activate big bad bosses, uh, which would, no, we're not going to be able to activate big bad bosses. That was pretty good. Uh, baby looking, he's looking fine so far. Okay. So yeah, 
Now he's down to 1.6 million. Uh, that's only with his 100% uh, passive active right there. So there's the difference. That's quite a difference in attack potency. So if there's a fight where there's a pure Saiyan and a hybrid Saiyan enemy at the same time, you are going to be getting massive, massive attack buffs uh, for Baby. So that's going to be looking really, really nice. Uh, okay, so right here, I think we're actually going to go ahead and rock a Ghost Usher uh, because I want to walk into the last phase or at this next phase uh, with Physical Kid Boost passive active. That's pretty important. Uh, I also would like to build up some key for Baby if possible as well too. I do want to make sure Baby hits his 18 key super. Again, you know, it, it, it might be a little bit difficult in certain situations. Uh, for him to get that 18 key super again, it'll be a lot easier if there is either a pure Saiyan enemy present or if there's also a hybrid Saiyan enemy present because that's where he gets extra key, right? And th this also does highlight, uh, I, I think, the need for key for baby. Like, you know, uh, his TUR having GT, Hatred of Saiyans, and Shattering the Limit, you know, that massive six key, that's a big deal. So, so that would be incredibly helpful. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to go ahead and get the 18 key super here again, which is definitely uh, a bit of a shame. There's no doubt about that. Uh, so we're, we're, we're struggling a little bit with the, you know, the sort of the team build here. I guess maybe I should have prioritized a unit that was linking with baby uh, for key rather than just for a, attack potency, right? Because, you know, I went for uh, his attack links active, but... You know, he is struggling to hit that 18 key super. I mean, there he is right there. There at That's at 2.1. I guess that makes sense because, you know, Kid Buu is adding 50%. So he's hitting about as hard as he would if he was just going up against a pure Saiyan or hybrid Saiyan category enemy. Um, okay, so I'll probably, uh, depending on how this next rotation goes, uh, I'll probably actually cut here because uh, I, I do want to get BB into a situation where we can actually get this man his 18 key super so we can see what he's working with there. Uh, and then at that point, you know, we'll also try and get his great ape transformation. So uh, let me go ahead and sort of uh, move over to those scenes to try and see how good he can be there. All right, guys, so here we go. Finally, we'll get a situation where Baby will be able to get that 18 key super. Uh, he got a really nice amount of key right there, so this could be a pretty damaging turn. Uh, he can go ahead and bust that 18 key super out, and we can see how well uh, he'll stack up against Blue Gogeta. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, what exactly will our boy Baby be able to do right here? Uh, so he's up to 2.4 million. Okay, I'll take that. Again, th this is without him sort of optimized. Uh, and then, of course, he also does have that Great Ape transformation that we are trying to get a look at, too. Uh, I also, I would like to see him with both parts of his passive active, right? Like, you know, what what is he going to look like if he has basically the full 200% attack from his passive? And he's going up against a pure Saiyan and a hybrid Saiyan enemy. Now, that would be quite interesting to see. Uh, I know... The Vegito Blue event, uh, the first one, you go up against Trunks, Goku, and Vegeta. So that would activate Baby's full passive. Uh, maybe I will try and go ahead and do it over there. Hey, look, we're actually going to get to see Android 21's transformation. That's pretty rare. You don't often see the girl go ahead and transform like that. There we go. So, all right, let me go ahead and cut. Uh, we want to see two things. We want to see Baby's Great Ape form, and we're also looking to see... Uh, you know, what happens when he has his full 200% passive active. All right, guys. So here we go. This is what I was talking about right here. So we have Super Baby 2 in a stage up against both a pure Saiyan and a hybrid Saiyan category unit. So uh, Super Baby 2 here should be able to deal quite a devastating blow uh, with basically a full 200% on his passive. Now, the only thing we don't have is a support type unit at the end there. But this should still be quite uh, a big damage dealing shot here from Super Baby 2. So it gets up to 3.7 million, which I surely will take considering we don't have a support type unit on rotation. Like if we had a support as well, <laughs> that would jump uh, way up. Now, I was thinking that, you know, uh, the summonable LR Super Baby probably wouldn't be as good 
as the LR Super Saiyan 4s. And of course, you know, he doesn't have an active skill. Uh, active skills are pretty much a really big deal nowadays. Uh, they are the game-changing meta. So there was uh, Super Baby 2. He got the 3.7 million. Uh, we definitely could get that higher. Like, you know, I know on his own team, there are certain units he'll be able to have, like Metal Rildo, who will be very good for him, or Turles, who will also be an option who will be very good for him. So, uh, you know, I, we'll, we'll sort of try and play around with it a little bit more. All right, guys, so we're going to cut it short here for today. This baby unit is driving your boy nuts. This transformation is definitely uh, sort of hard to obtain, so... Uh, I will just wait until uh, he actually comes out on JP. Your boy will start summoning for him. Uh, I believe the banner will only drop a few hours after that this video goes live. Your boy is going to be summoning like crazy trying to get both Super Baby as well as the LR Goku, Pan, and Trunks. So y'all stay looking out for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.